This Oliver, this savior, I will taint his heart with the blackness of despair. Hey guys, um, I got this game to get today. Um, I know it's been out for a few days already, uh, but because um, Bandai Namco has been uh, nice enough to um, deliver about two um, Wizard Editions to uh, every game store, um, they couldn't fill any orders, so all of my orders got, got cancelled over here. So I had to pay way too much at Amazon uh, from a private seller to get uh, my copy of this, but. I uh, finally got it today. Um, it is, as you can see from the cover, the uh, Nino Kuni Wrath the White Witch Wizards Edition. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a long name. Uh, basically, uh, the DS game Nino Kuni was hugely successful in Japan um, and basically everywhere else, um, but uh, they decided not to release that. Instead, do the remake for uh, PlayStation 3 and release that um, over here as well. Uh, so I bought it. I already have the DS version. I uh, got that in Japan for cheap. Um, so I guess that will even out since that was quite expensive uh, at launch. So compared with this one, uh, well, if you uh, take the average of this one and that one, it'll be it, it's less bad than what I paid for this. Anyway, uh, the box itself is uh, gorgeous. To say the least, well, I mean, take, think away the uh, PlayStation logos, but it's a very nice looking box and the logo is amazing. Um, which I mean, you should have guessed that from uh, it, mostly made, most of it are being made by Ghibli. Uh, so, yeah, sides have uh, just the logo a few times, back has um, in a ton of languages what's in it. Uh, it should be the game, uh, the like the companion's book, the uh, which has uh, all the information from the game. Basically, it has all the spells, all the monsters, all the items, plus information. Uh, this uh, plus thingy, uh, which is one of the minor characters or something like that, or mascots, or I don't really know. I haven't played the Japanese version yet. Uh, and a, a bunch of DLC. And on the bottom, I just noticed it has uh, like some of the fantastical creatures from the game. Now you take the sleeve off and you're left with a far nicer box without all the uh, bad blurb on it. Which is basically just uh, the same art on all sides. Uh, so open this up and we see it's very simply packaged inside. Actually there's not even anything separating stuff. So uh, there is the game which I'll open in a little bit. Uh, they have the software manual which is amazing because nothing comes with a manual anymore uh, but I think this is basically controls and yeah it's basically 12 languages so uh, it's just a simple one it's uh, simple languages oh and actually has a small alphabet thing about the language used in game which is handy uh, and all the other stuff that you will probably learn in tutorials anyway so uh, then there's the book which is Probably the thing why most people got this, it's it, it, just like the Japanese one, I'll grab that in a minute just to show you. Um, it is amazing, it's like textured front, The all this uh, gold on it is uh, actually textured so you can feel it lying on there. It looks like a really old book and it's amazing and this jam in the middle which is also a nice thing. But as I said, uh, this is probably why they didn't release it and why they took so long because Everything that it's in here is translated, I think. Um, just, look, just look at the art. This, this is why everyone wants this game. Uh, as you can see, it has all the uh, spells in there, which you have to draw with the stylus on DS. And yeah, item lists with uh, a lot of stuff in there. Uh, not all the stats, but I think it has all the items. Just simple explanations where you can get them. Uh, same about bestiary all the all the monsters in the game again all with art which is absolutely stunning and and more stuff i think that's tales about well even i didn't know this uh there's stories about the game and maps and all kinds of stuff so basically you can actually read this thing 
or half of it, and the rest is all just items. But that's pretty damn amazing. A uh, bit of stuff to keep it up. It's not amazing. And then the uh, plushy thingy of... I think, I think it said somewhere what it's called on the box. Drippy. I guess because this thing is dripping from his nose. Like, it's, uh, like a uh, lantern. So yeah, that's uh, also amazing. And this thing alone fetches about 50 euros on eBay. People, at least that's what they're wanting for it. Uh, let's just see what's in the game box as well. Because there should be um, some DLC as well. I think they had these limited edition only uh, creatures in there or like familiars. There we go. Game box itself is the same art on the front and the back has the, the art which is basically standard Ghibli style and not a whole lot actually. Um, and in there where they have a few things. Uh, a registration card from uh, Bandai which I'll not use. Um, and, and just do it like this. A, uh, the game add-ons, uh, which should be, uh, they have this, I think two familiars, Golden Drongo and a Golden Might, which I think are just gold-skinned versions of familiars in the game. It doesn't say what they are, actually. But I think they are, they are something like familiars, uh, not really. Ooh, and the, uh, of course, the game, and inside of the cover, it's just something they don't do a whole lot anymore. They have this piece of art, which is pretty neat. Um, just trying to shove it back in without destroying it. So yeah, that's uh, what's in this box. Uh, I'm not sure if it's actually worth what I paid for. I mean, I paid, um, I think, 150 pounds, and it retails well, it retailed at 70 at Amazon originally. Uh, but yeah, no other way to get it, or at least get this version. Um, I'm, I'm going to grab the uh, uh, book from the Japanese version real quick. So this is the uh, Japanese version of uh, Nino Kuni, the original DS version. This is the uh, cover that came with it, which uh, has the art on it. So it's the black one and the white one. It's uh, the uh, Shikoku no... Uh, Majutsu, I think. Uh, Madoshi, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, so it's basically uh, the jet black wizard versus the, uh, or jet black mage wizard or something, versus the white wizard. So that's the, or the wrath of the white wizard. So that's the uh, difference between those versions. But what I wanted to show you was uh, the book that comes with the Japanese version. And as you can see, they are, ne well, nearly identical. Uh, this is more words on it. So I'm guessing this is actually Japanese in that language that's in the uh, small booklet, and this is English in it. But it's the same thing. It's um, uh, like the magic explained and story explained, and all the monsters and items. I probably think this one has more uh, monsters in there as well. So anyway, uh, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, this unboxing, and if you did, please leave a like and uh, subscribe below if you haven't already. And I'll uh, see you guys next time.